Welcome back, kids. This is episode three, part two. We're going to finish up that uh, 48 inch round Sullivan sign today. Uh, that thing turned out great, and we're just going to take up right where we left off on part one. So let's get with it. I'm going to show you how I finish this thing up. Here I'm just using the oscillating sander to get the tabs off of those letters, and then uh, then I resorted to hand sanding with that uh, little sander tool that I have there, the little yellow handle. And here I am putting on the Minwax Sanding Sealer. Uh, I had a choice between that and Kiehl's, and I went with this just because I'd never used either one of them before, really. But I went with this to see how it would work. So I figured this would be able to. Since it's clear, it dries clear, I'd be able to use it, you know, on other signs, uh, even my normal signs that I do. Maybe to stop some of uh, the paint bleed in my engraved cedar sign. And here I use two coats of Rust-Oleum 2X Paint and Primer Flat Black, and then I did two coats of Gloss Black. Here I am using all-purpose power primer from Sherwin-Williams. Uh, this was recommended to me by the Valspar chick at Lowe's. I had Kills 3 in my hand, and she talked me out of that and told me to go with this, so that's what I did. <laughs> and uh, it, as far as I know, it did as, you know, as well as it could do. I'm not a painter. I hate painting, but uh, it did do real good. I got good coverage. I just put two coats of that primer on. And by the way, I'm painting the back of that uh, Baptist College sign. I decided not to mess that all that work up that other guy did. Uh, turned out he was a fantastic artist. I looked him up on Google. This is the first coat of Sherwin Williams Weather Shield that I had. Uh, mixed i can't remember what it was called but i'll have it up here on the screen two coats of that with that little roller there and that finish was perfect here i'm just getting around make sure i get the edges in fact i got the edges about three times this was just a dry run a test fit so to speak uh, just to see how those letters were going to look using the cutout as a template. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. So I just decided I was going to go with that. Okay, so here I'm just putting double sided tape on spots on back of these letters and they'll eventually be glued oh, glued down with uh, this silicone and this was recommended to me by a subscriber who has turned into a good friend of mine he goes by raven7974 here on youtube super good guy very helpful and he is an actual sign maker uh, he contacted me and gave me some tips on how to proceed with this, and I was very appreciative. I had no idea about the silicone, which really makes perfect sense. I was just thinking, my original thought was, well, either CA glue and brad nails or wood glue and brad nails. I just really didn't know. So that's why I kind of reached out and asked uh, for some suggestions, and I'm glad I did because. This is something I never would have thought of on my own. So thank you so much, Raven. I appreciate you, brother. When I started this channel, my main goal was just to help people that were transitioning. Not that kind of transitioning, but transitioning from a Shapoko to a Infinity Elite. And 
uh, that's still you know part of my focus but as the channel has grown and kind of matured it's turned into more than that and the thing i didn't expect was the great contacts and uh friends i was going to make during this process you know through this channel and it's that's been a very pleasant surprise you just never know you know when you start something like this you number one you don't know how it's going to go how you're going to be accepted and all of that but i have to say um, my experience so far has been great I've only had a few haters and i was watching a video the other day saying if you don't have haters then you're not reaching the right people so <laughs> and he had made a good point because he was saying uh if you don't have any haters then you're only reaching uh the same people over and over you start getting haters that you know you're uh being seen by a different set of eyeballs so yeah I, i've taken that as a sign of encouragement <laughs> but anyway i ain't taking that crap personal life's too short so i'm just about through here one more piece of tape on this letter i All right, and I hope that's enough tape. We will soon find out because I'm fixing the latest thing out and uh, get the letters in position and start doing the silicone. So let's get with that. I'm going to show you how I aligned this. Uh, the only thing I really had to go with from the get go, I was fortunate I had these original mounting holes. See that up there at the top, and down here at the bottom. And I just drew a line right down the center of those. So that was my center line. And this is the center line of my template. I'll call this a template. And then I just used a square and set a 90 degree line off of the center line, which you can see that center line just barely through there. I did it real light. And then the horizontal line you can see it through here and i've got it lined up with the center line of these letters so of course everything comes together right here in the middle i hope you can see that there's horizontal horizontal and they line up with this one there's the vertical line it lines up with this one so let's see how this goes. Well, I didn't get any video of me putting the silicone on back of the letters and putting the letters in the hole. And so much for my chances of winning the Dundee Award for best video production. Maybe next time. This is the worst. This silicone works so well. I'm going to be using this in the future. Uh, maybe on any sign that has <laughs> the loose letters like that. That stuff is amazing. And it, it set up and got firm a lot quicker than I thought it was going. That's what she said. So it, or he said. It really worked out well. The other thing that worked really well was using that uh, cutoff piece as the template. That was just uh, made it so simple to space those letters out and keep everything in line. Uh, so, yeah, that was a good idea, and I'm glad I did that. And I wouldn't hesitate to do it like that again. That was pretty easy. Here, I'm just pushing them down, make sure they're real firm against the board. So there we are, for better or for worse. Let that dry, and then I'll lift off the MDF and see what we got. All right, here goes nothing. Kind of 
Так. Scared me. It was stuck there in places. Oh, I think it's... <laughs> think it's all right, but it's hard to tell without it standing up, and I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to give it plenty of time to fully set up and dry. I'll be back. All right, that's it for this one. That was a big old sign, and... Of course, I made it a lot more difficult than it had to be, but it was my first time doing a sign like that where I cut out the letters and then had to worry about the placement. You know, I'm an engraving guy, you know. But anyway, this was fun. I learned a lot. Thank you, Raven, for helping me out with that. I uh, also have a new channel member, David Whiteside, right here. Thank you, David. I appreciate you. Uh, these All these guys are already seeing uh members only videos and you can't see them unless you're a member <laughs> you need to join uh, right now my subscriber count is 1730 dang looking good kids thank y'all hope you learned something i'll see you on the next video So much for that Dundee Award for vet best. <sighs> so much. For Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Well, welcome back, kids. Today, um, <laughs> what the hell am I doing? I don't know.